So again, uh, George Bull's theory, right, <clears throat> was founded on something being on or off, one or zero, true or false. And he introduced logical operators for Boolean logic, uh, and, or, not, and there are several others, but in this class we focus on, on these three. And he also introduced uh, the concept of truth tables. And there's an and truth table, an or truth table, and a not truth table. So if we have, for example, x and y, then we, we have some result, right? So x and y equal some result. So if x is 0 and y is 0, then the result is 0. But maybe in this class we'll use true-false, right? So, so, oops. So this is false, this is false, then this one is false. And if x is false and y is true, then the result is still false. If y is true, <clears throat> I mean x is true and y is false, then we still have false. Only if x and y are both true, then the result is not false but true, right? So let me, let me correct that. So uh, record this to memory because when you're setting, uh, maybe not in this class, you, you'll use them a little bit and we'll go through some examples. But if, if uh, you stay in computer science, you're going to use logic a lot. So the, uh, the truth tables will help you, right? So when you're dealing with uh, is uh, if uh, this is true and this is false, then do something. Then you know uh, that the result would be false, right? So you got to make sure that you understand like how to set up the, the condition. So that's why we're introducing this piece. He also introduced uh, the concept of OR table, and we still have the same concept. We have X, Y, and then some result. So if X OR Y, then the result is false, right? So if both are false, then the result is false. If X is false OR Y is true, then the result is true. If x is true or y is false, then the result is true. And if both are true, then, then it were true, right? So notice uh, the difference between and <clears throat> and or. So in and, both of them have to be true for the result to be true. And in or, if both are uh, false, then the result is false. So opposite, right? So if uh, one of the results is true in AND, then the result is false, right? Right here. And for OR, if one of the results is true, then notice the result is true. So it's the opposite of each other. So if you can reg register that to memory, then you won't have any, any issues uh, with logic in the future. And finally, he introduced the concept of not. So if x, then we have some results, right? So if x is false, but not false, true. <clears throat> if x is true, but not true, false, right? So those are the concepts of truth tables, and that's what uh, George Boole uh, was up to back in the early to mid 18 or actually in the mid 1800s right so but uh, we can be sure that uh, <clears throat> this started for him as he was walking into those uh, math clubs or libraries with his father as a, as a young kid right and eventually like he became uh, one of the founders of our modern age right which to me is still incredible you do have to make sure you understand truth tables, right? You'll get questions that maybe are not specific to truth tables, but uh, depend on the knowledge of uh, understanding what truth tables are. And if you uh, understand them, then you won't have any 
issues with this one, right? So, any questions here so far? Okay, so I waited through that awkward silence and, and there are no questions. So let me go ahead and start.